Hey guys, just going to shoot a quick video. So I just got some new parts in the mail today from Racer X. And what I got was one of their new valve cover uh, block off plugs, I guess. And I also got their flex fuel sensor set up because I kind of liked how they protect it in the housing versus a lot of other people's where it's just the sensor sitting there and I like that theirs already has the AN fitting. So first I'm going to install this and then I'm going to give you a closer look at the Racer X uh, fitting. At the Racer X uh, fuel, flex fuel sensor I mean, not fitting. So this was my half ass attempt to do the same thing that their plug did. So I'm just going to take this out. Goodbye old nasty plug. Hello, fresh new hotness. Now I'll give you a top view of this once it's installed. So and of course they give you the same style bolts that I always use. So I, I probably got this a little bit before everybody else. Uh, I ordered this as soon as they released it, instead of waiting for Black Friday. So I wanted to make sure that since I decided to put this in, it wasn't going to hold anything up having to wait for it if they sold out of them. But that looks sexy as fuck. I'm going to just move these out of the way a little bit. And then I'm going to move the camera so you can see it. Now this is one of those things that... Do you need to do it? No. But I always feel like it's the little details that finish out a build. That looks much, much cleaner than... Ah, my tripod legs are getting caught. That's much, much cleaner than how I had cut down the stock piece and just had that sitting on top like that. So a lot cleaner. I like that. It's not going to interfere with the coil on, coil on plug plate. So I'm happy, especially since I'm doing the uh, trunk mount intake manifold that's going to be super visible on the top of the motor So let me put this here. I'm going to reposition the camera real quick uh, Let me just turn this motor so it's out of the way. Just push it over a little bit There we go Of course I had to grab the tripod leg All right, so now that that piece is done, probably the quickest install I've ever done on a car. Now these were in the box with it, so I'm assuming these are the mounting bolts to the transmission. I really didn't read much about this before I ordered it. I just knew that I was going to need a flex fuel uh, sensor, so I have some wiring pins and then here's the actual unit so and they have it so it has a, a an aluminum shield over the top of the sensor and then this would mount to the back of the transmission so you wouldn't even see it unless you're looking for it I'm actually gonna flip it around and run it on the inside of the frame rail right after my fuel filter so it's gonna go fuel filter short hose this and then up to the um, feed side of the, the rail and that's probably going to be the cleanest way to install it. I was going to try and hide this behind the uh, firewall cover simply for the fact that I didn't want to have to have the wire showing. This way I could tuck the wires and you wouldn't see them. I might still do that. I might just put this on the tranny and then run this up into the 
branch of my wiring harness that goes to all the transmission sensors and the coolant neck sensors and everything so it really wouldn't be that bad of a run and you wouldn't see it and since I did the mil spec cannon plug uh, style wiring harness um, I can pretty much put it wherever I want and route the wires however I want but that is a nice nice looking piece one thing I always liked about Racer X is they do a really good job with their machining work on their aluminum I mean, I'm, I spent a couple years of my life early on working in a machine shop, so I'm usually overly critical when it comes to machining parts, how the final project comes out. And uh, I have to say I'm pretty happy with that. I, I saw them when they first posted this and kind of jumped on both of these. And I really like their shifter assembly that they came out with and I was gonna do that also and then I was thinking about it and I actually liked a different shifter box that was out on the market a little bit better for a different reason but I'm not gonna go into that right now but that shifter box they came out with is dumb sexy for the price so here's the final uh, Piece. And just to give you a size reference, here's one of their stickers that comes with it, just so you can see how big it is. Super zoomed in here. There we go. So it's not terribly big. I mean, there's the old spacer. So it's a pretty good size. So, and then, like I said, that mounts right to the transmission. So that should be a pretty tight little package, but for two simple parts, I'm actually super happy to get both of those. So definitely check them out if you're looking to do any kind of cleanup on your valve cover. If you're not using the stock uh, throttle body spacer neck thing that that plug deletes, that's way cleaner than any other option I've seen people do. So a lot of people are just running without them, but I don't like doing that because it leaves a huge cavity to catch a bunch of stuff that if that gasket fails, it's just dumping straight into the head. So kudos to Racer X on those two parts. I like them both. Catch you next time, guys.